You have everything put together. Your strategy, psychology, etc. But there is one missing piece. Well, it's probably daily bias or even the hourly bias, depending on what time frame you're trading on, of course. But this is so important when trading, as if you don't know where the bias is, you essentially don't even know if you need to long or short. So in this video, I will help you solving this problem. There's a lot of different ways you can find the daily bias. You can use different strategies if you want to. You can use previous days high and previous days low, which I've made a video about in the past. Or you can just use simple PDRAs. And I'm going to show you what I think is the best way to find the daily bias in the most accurate way. First, we acknowledge what we see on the charts. Now, I really like to use a previous days high and previous days low approach and also like to combine that with other PDRAs. Now here, we see the price ran previous days low and also ran previous days high. But where did the price make a close? It made a close above previous days high. And we know when price makes a close above previous days high, we could be anticipating higher prices. And price on top of that also made a close above this fair value gap trading in IFG. Now when price fails to close below previous days low and then closes above previous days high, that really shows that price is disrespecting bear signatures and is willing to respect bullish signatures. So we could be anticipating this high to be a draw on liquidity and also previous days high. Now that we know what the daily bias is on the daily time frame, which is bullish, we can go down into the lower time frame and look for longs. On the 15 minute time frame, we can see that at 8.30, that price swept the previous days high, and it's also very close to that draw on liquidity which we had. So we could be anticipating price to reach up for that draw on liquidity. And right here, we see that price made equal highs to that draw on liquidity, so we could be anticipating this fair value gap to act as support and then taking out the equal highs. And here we do see the price sweep the relative equal highs. But now what if we were to take a trade entry? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in the next example. Here on the daily time frame, we can see the price ran major buy side liquidity. So that means we could be anticipating price reaching lower, right? And then we can see the price failed to make a close below previous days low. So that means we could be anticipating previous days high to reach wrong liquidity. Then price ran previous days high, failing to close above it. So now where's the drawn liquidity? Previous days low. Here on the 15 minute time frame, we can see that price at 8.30 opened higher. And this we could be anticipating is manipulation as we have a drawn liquidity which is bearish, right? And we also have some low resistance liquidity. And over here, we also have some low resistance liquidity. And we see the price ran the first time and is currently respecting this CP. So now let's go down into the lower time frame and see if we can get some sort of reaction that gives us confirmation price is willing to move lower. Here on the one minute time frame, we can see that price closed within this SIBI on the 15 minute time frame. And the price also created this IFVG at 9.30. And we do see we have some LRLR down here, which is a great draw on liquidity. Now let's see if price is willing to make a retracement going up into this IFVG. And we see price made a retracement. And now this we could consider as a breakaway gap. So we don't want to see this fair value gap get traded back to. Now, actually, I had a live session on my Discord. And someone actually took this trade. And we also talked about this trade. So remember to join my Discord. Link in the description is totally free. Now let's see how far price is willing to move lower. And maybe going all the way down to the previous day's low. Which we had all the way down here. And we do see within the AM session, right around 10 AM, price sweep the previous day's low. And we could see that this breakaway gap holded all the way down here. So now let's see if also the previous previous day's low got reached. And we do see that that low got reached. Here on the daily time frame, we can see that price made a close below previous day's low. So that would indicate that we're going to go lower, right? 
But the problem is that price also ran sell side liquidity, reached deeper into this fair value gap, and reached the OTE of this range. So instead of we could be anticipating previous days low to be ran, previous days high is more likely to be ran, as we could be anticipating a reversal from these significant levels price reached down for. So now let's go down into the 15 minute time frame. Here on the 15 minute time frame, we can see that going up into 8.30, price really just expanded higher and was also on a buy program, meaning every down close candle is acting as support and bullish PD rates are getting respected. Also in the meantime, we see over here on the left that bearish PD rates are getting disrespected. Now, we can also see that these two highs up here are relative equal highs and one of those highs being previous day's high. And if we just zoom in, we can see that price made a immediate rebalance, then disrespected that immediate rebalance. So now let's see if price is still willing to move higher. And we do see that price ran this high up here. So bullish prices are still in mind. Now let's go down into the lower time frame and see if we could take a potential trade entry or just see if price is willing to take out the relative equal highs and previous days high. Just before going down into the one minute time frame, we have to take a quick look at the five minute time frame and see what it is doing. So we see that price reached down into this fair value gap that was also paired with a volume imbalance. And that we could be anticipating the delivery to happen from and then reach the relative equal highs. So now let's drop down into the one minute time frame. Finally, down here on the one minute time frame, we can see that price is starting to deliver from that five minute fair value gap and also created a IFEG. Now, this close above this IFEG happened at 929. So if you to prefer to trade close to 930, you could take this trade entry if price wants to make a retracement and then target internal range liquidity. And here we do see 930 makes a retracement into this IFEG, runs higher, sweeping internal range liquidity. Now let's see if price is willing to take out the relative equal highs and also take out the previous day's high. And here we do see price makes a small retracement after taking out previous day's high and then take out the other relative equal high. 